So, I thought that I was just going to bleed the brakes without doing any kind of video coverage because I thought this was a straightforward thing and I've done this a million times and who cares, it's just breeding the brakes, breeding, breeding the brakes, Ooh. bleeding the brakes. And um, well, it turns out that this was a little bit more complicated. Not a lot, but there's a secret. There's always a trick, right? Um, yeah, so I do have a clip where I come out and I was like, oh, look at that. The rear brake fluid was kind of low and the rear brake was kind of squishy. Yep, that's the uh, the rear brake reservoir. And you can see it's below the men line. It means a little bit of wiggling and it's almost certainly going down. That would explain why my rear brakes have been sucking the, on the few test rides I've taken the bike on. So, well, there's the problem. And, uh, and then I proceeded to do everything else. I've done the clutch. I've done the front brakes. No issues. I've got this, this thing. It's a cheapy vampire bleeder machine. And um, everything went smashingly, went very fast. And, uh, and then I got to this rear brake and um, it wasn't bleeding. I, I mean, I've gone through half of this thing. Meh, yeah, almost half of this thing. And I just squishy, 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 get stiff, bleed it, squishy, 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 get stiff, bleed. I mean, it just, I got maybe a little progress, but I'm talking like, I could go through a gallon of brake fluid trying to get this thing to work. Found the solution though. I did a little Googling, so I'm not the originator of this bright idea, but maybe if somebody's going to look for 916, 748, 996, or 998 brake issues, they can come and look at my video, and uh, I'll show you the trick here. Well, that brake does may appear to you that it's on correctly, but actually it's loose and if you're paying a lot of attention um, that's actually the mount for the brake now why do I have it like that well if you look at the way it goes on um, actually if you follow this hose this hose is where my bleeding uh, line is coming out of uh, it's it goes to this nipple that's on top right now well the, br the brake normally mounts right here and the way it mounts is upside down from the way it is right now. So that nipple's on the bottom. So, the trick with the Ducati 998, 996 brakes is to take the brake pad, uh, the caliper off and uh, put it on top of the disc like that and then try to bleed it. Because otherwise, yeah, it, you could sit here all night. I've already done like two... I think that's all I've done is like two quick pull, pump it up, let the air out, pump it up, let the air out. And it's already, we'll look over here, it's already stiff. I mean, it's, it's done. So there is the problem. Turn it upside down and it will go quick. Oh, one other thing. Uh, I would recommend, you. I, I think you could just kind of hold it upright and do it but I think it's best to bleed the brakes with the disc in, in between the brake pads because then they have something to grab onto and you get it all set to the way that the brake is going to sit more or less when it's on the bike. So uh, I would mount it up there like that. There's plenty of room on this bike to do it that way. And uh, yeah. One other thing I had to deal with was uh, rusty nipples. <laughs> My wife always calls my motorcycle the, the, my, my girlfriend, so she said, your girlfriend's got rusty nipples. It probably could have been reused, but you can see also a monkey took went to the wrench, and probably some of that damages me. I'm not always the most gentle with, screw, with uh, screws. Anyway, this, this bleed screw, bleed nipple is was kind of shot, so it did take a couple days. I got a replacement one. Um, yeah.